Hey everyone! In this video I share with you three blender add-ons that I personally find super useful for making characters for games. These three are the ones I personally use and find the most useful in my workflow and hopefully you'll find them useful too. For those new to 3D character creation, retopology is the process of converting high poly sculpt into a low poly mesh with clean, efficient topology. This is crucial for game development and animation because high poly meshes are pretty much impossible to animate and far too heavy for real time rendering in game engines. Retopology is often a tedious manual process. But Retopo Flow helps streamline that effort quite a lot. Retopo Flow makes manual retopology way easier by giving you better, more intuitive tools than Blender's default options. Instead of struggling with clunky workflows, you can just draw and adjust the topology naturally. It's super beginner friendly too. So if you're new to retopology, it helps take away a lot of frustration. My favorite tools are the poly pen, the relax and the trick brush. They give me the most control and help smooth out the flow of the topology. I personally don't use the other brushes that much because I find that these three brushes give me the best results. Before buying Retopoflow, you may have come across reviews mentioning bugs and limitations and one common complaint is that it struggles with meshes over 1 million polygons causing slowdowns. I personally don't find this to be a big deal because you can just decimate your high poly mesh before retopology and as long as the silhouette stays intact, you're good to go. You don't know what's needed extreme detail in your high poly model to create a solid low poly version. Although I do have to say that I did run into constant crashes with this add-on at some point and I've seen others mention the same issue. In my case, it turned out it was my graphics tablet driver causing the problem. I used the Intuos CTL 490 and the crashes stopped when I downgraded my drivers. So if you're experiencing frequent crashes, it may be worth checking if your tablet's driver are the culprit. You can get Retopo Flow in Blender Market, link in the description. And you can also get it for free from the GitHub repository for non-conventional projects. I'll leave also a link in the description. If you're creating a game character or assets, UV unwrapping and packing your UVs efficiently is a huge part of optimizing your workflow. Proper UV packing reduces waste textures space and ultimately helps improve your game's performance. One of the tools that has seriously helped me speed up this process is UV Packmaster. This add-on automates the process of packing your UVs in the most optimized ways and it saves me loads of times. It uses an algorithm to maximize the space use on the texture maps, which is perfect for game assets where the texture space is precious. It also has tons of options for customizing how the UVs are packed, giving you a lot of control over the process. I personally prefer to pack the most important UV first, the ones that are going to be seen up close or have the most details and after that I like to use pack to others to fill the remaining space with the less important UVs so the ones that are going to be seen less and this ensures that I'm making the most of my texture space without over complicating things. You can also adjust the packing parameters like padding, island scale and orientation to make sure everything fits just right for your project. In my opinion, UV Packmaster is definitely worth the investment if you're doing a lot of UV work. You can grab it from the Blender Market, I'll leave links in the description. And last but not least, it's Box and Hill Diffuse. When you're working on a game character, weight painting is an essential part of preparing your mesh for animation. It can be a tedious task. And if your weights aren't clean, your character's movement can look weird and unnatural. And this is where the voxel hit diffuse really shines. It automatically creates much better weight maps straight away, making the whole process of skinning your model a lot less painful. You don't have to manually adjust weights for hours, as this add-on gives you a solid starting point with much cleaner weights. I found this add-on works really well for body weights, especially on large complex meshes like the arms, the legs and the torso. 
It creates smooth, realistic weight maps that are easy to work with. Boxer Head Diffuse is seriously, absolutely worth it, especially if you're spending a lot of time skinning your characters. You can get it from Blender Market. I'll also leave a link in the description. And there you have it. These are my must-have Blender add-ons for character creation. I seriously use them all the time. And what about you? What other add-ons do you use when making your assets for your game? I'm curious. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more tips and tools for game development. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!